greetings from the Philippines. We would like to present to you the study entitled Technical Vocational Education Students, Conceptual Understanding and Mental Models about Electric Circuits. I am Walter Mestades from De La Salle University. This research is the master's degree thesis of my student, Yasmin Elena Orolfo, a secondary school teacher at the Nemesho Yabut Senior High School. The United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization has emphasized the importance of technical vocational education as a preparation for occupation and employment. Technical vocational education is a priority for developing ways of learning and the acquisition of skills and attitudes that will result to success in the workplace. Developed countries like South Korea and Japan have invested highly in the technical and vocational training to address the demand for skill-specific workers. The Philippines Department of Education implements technical vocational education beginning grade seven in technical vocational schools. Selected secondary schools in the country make use of a specialized curriculum that combines technical vocational training with the regular academic subjects in the curriculum, such as science, mathematics, language, history, and art. The competencies expected of students in the curriculum are evaluated at the end of the program, and the students are given a specific national certification level. The curriculum design of an effective technical and vocational education provides the learners with the basic scientific knowledge and attitude alongside the skills they are expected to acquire from technical education in the local and global context. The program should address the specialized needs of students in understanding the applications of scientific and technological aspects of the subject matter they are learning. Research has documented that students bring with them misconceptions in their physics classes. Among the topics with several student misconceptions is electric circuits. Diagnostic materials have been developed to determine the mastery level of students. Mental models have been used to represent how students understand electric circuit processes. The related studies and literature about technical vocational education and physics education provided the framework for this research. The students' skills and conceptions form their mental models through their experience in physics class and in technical vocational training. The learner's mental models are shaped by their personal observations and beliefs. In turn, their mental models affect their beliefs and how they see the world around them. The study looked into the conceptions and misconceptions about electric circuits of students taking an electricity-related program 
in a technical vocational education high school. The study showed that majority of the students have misconceptions and incomplete conceptions about electric circuits and the elements that make a circuit work. While they showed familiarity with actual circuit elements, they lacked familiarity with the symbols used in an electric circuit. This graph represents the frequency count of students who obtained a particular score in the direct. The graph is skewed to the left, which means that the student's understanding of the concepts in the topic of electricity is low. These results are comparable to the results obtained in a related study conducted on grade 10 students, where the researchers obtained a mean score of around nine out of a total perfect score of 29. We hypothesize that the relatively low scores obtained for the direct test may be attributed to students difficulty in visualizing the concepts of voltage, current, and resistance, particularly because the students cannot directly observe these concepts, unlike other physics concepts of force, velocity, and acceleration. The PVE students had varied understanding about how energy flows in an electric circuit. Some students subscribed to the unipolar model, the idea that electrical energy flows from one terminal only. The bipolar model was also present among the students with the students describing the current from the positive terminal moving faster than the current that flows out the negative terminal. The students' self-constructed idea about what happens when the energy reaches the load is analogous to that of a two-way traffic model. Based on the strengthened technical vocational education program, the PVE students are expected to acquire the scientific foundation of electric circuits, as well as hands-on experience in electric circuits. The students create their own mental models to explain their experience or observation. These mental models may be scientifically accepted, naive, incomplete, or totally wrong. It is important that students reinforce their technical learning by acquiring conceptual understanding of electric circuits through physics education. The results of the study showed that the PVE students were not able to acquire mastery of the lesson as shown in their low scores in the direct test. The students continue to hold several misconceptions about the different quantities involved in electric circuits. Physics teachers in PVE institutions should give emphasis on the foundational knowledge for the learning of electric circuits, including the nature of the important terms such as current, resistance, power, potential difference, and voltage.
Thank you very much for listening to our presentation.